Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and today I'm sharing with you my early morning routine for the winter time. I know it's not technically winter but I wanted to go ahead and film my winter morning routine since I'm definitely in the holiday spirits. So I'm woken up by my alarm and I basically have to get out of bed right away otherwise I will fall back asleep. And the first thing I do is make my bed. This just starts my day off on the best note. It's cheesy, but it's true. And here I am in my Christmas pajamas. I got these from TJ Maxx. They are so soft and cozy. First things first, I will go to my bathroom and do all of my morning rituals, like brushing my teeth and washing my face. I always brush my teeth first thing in the morning just because I feel the freshest that way. And I usually don't eat breakfast for an hour or so after I wake up. So I will do that. Then I'll wash my face with the CeraVe hydrating cleanser this works wonders for my skin it's been almost a year since i've been using that and then i'll use the la roche posay tolerant ultra moisturizer this combination is great for my sensitive skin and it's super simple and quick one of the things that i love about waking up early is that you feel like you're awake before the rest of the world so i really like to use this time to just read and journal and do something that makes me feel really happy and peaceful so i do my five minute journal pretty much every single day. I've been getting back on track with that and it's just a really nice way to reflect on what I'm grateful for. On some days I will do my actual journal and write an entry and kind of go over what's going on in my life and do some journal prompts. I don't do this every single day. I find that it's hard for me to get into the habit of really writing a lot each day so I probably update this journal every couple of weeks or so and just kind of talk about what's going on in my life and then something that I really like to do for goal setting is this artist of life workbook it has so many great spreads for career goals personal goals health goals and just all kinds of different prompts again this is something that I update every couple of weeks or so but I just wanted to show you what types of journaling I do after journaling I've been reading which makes me so happy because I used to read so much growing up and then I just stopped for like five years and I finally been getting back into it over the past six months. I'm currently rereading The Twilight Saga and I just love to spend some time reading. So this usually takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, just depending on how good the book is until I eventually get hungry. So on this particular day, I was just about out of my homemade granola recipe. So I decided to go ahead and bake a new batch before I made my breakfast that morning. I will have the recipe listed down below in the description box. It's amazing. I highly recommend you guys try it. I've perfected it. I love it. And I pretty much like to make this every week. One batch lasts about a week and I'm definitely trying to get in the habit of baking more and cooking more. I also just find it very therapeutic because a lot of mornings lately I've been waking up with anxiety and racing thoughts. So being able to focus on baking something or reading a book has just been so helpful for me. So while the granola was doing its baking in the oven, I decided to make a little yogurt strawberry parfait for breakfast. So I just sliced up some strawberries and I got some Greek yogurt and I just layered it with the remaining granola that I had. I was working out after this, so I didn't want to eat a ton of food because sometimes that can make my stomach upset, but I definitely wanted to eat something because I don't like to work out on an empty stomach. So I just had the strawberry parfait, drizzled it with honey, and enjoyed my little pre-workout breakfast. I went on my laptop for a little bit. I checked some emails, started getting into what I wanted to accomplish for the day, write my to-do list, all that kind of thing. Good morning, everyone. So I have just changed into my workout outfit of the day. I am wearing this sports bra that is from Lululemon and these leggings are from Gymshark. I got them last season. I feel like they're cut really well and they're high-waisted, which is really cute. And yeah, I'm kind of doing like a little matching set vibe. They're not exactly matching, but I think it's fine. I'm gonna throw on some more clothes because this is not enough to be warm outside. So give me a second. So unfortunately, I have to do a very unflattering low pony in order to wear my hat. And I have to wear a hat every time I run because I get very cold ears very easily. So for jackets, I have two options, this puffer from Abercrombie or this windbreaker from Columbia. I'll show you guys both. So here's what the puffer looks like. I think it's really cute. And this is the windbreaker. I usually decide based on how cold it is. This one's a little more comfy to run in. It's also a little bit thinner. So I just decide depending on the weather and depending on the workout that I'm doing that day. I think for today, I'll wear this one. So yeah, that is my workout outfit of the day. So I'm going to work out. 
If you had told me a few months ago that I was gonna be running outside as my workout, I definitely would not have believed you because I'm not a good runner. I'm pretty slow, honestly, but I love the feeling that running gives me and it's something that I really challenge myself to start doing. Full disclosure, it's still very hard for me and sometimes I just walk most of the time, but that's okay because I'm proud of myself. All right, I am back from my run. I am so hungry, so I'm going to be making a little brunch. I normally make like a pretty large brunch after I work out. Today I'm making these roasted garlic and zucchini flatbreads from HelloFresh and I'm so excited. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of HelloFresh. They provide fresh, pre-portioned ingredients in seasonal recipes straight to my doorstep and make home cooking such a fun experience because I have been learning to cook more frequently and I've been loving trying out all the different recipes because each week you have a ton to choose from, which I love because it gets me out of cooking the same thing every week. They have family-friendly, calorie-smart, pescatarian, and veggie options. I personally got the veggie box option and I've loved all the recipes so far. The value is unbeatable because even at full price, it's pre-portioned ingredients mean you don't waste money or food, with at least 25% less food waste compared to grocery shopping. HelloFresh keeps things simple with recipes and ingredients that cut out grocery shopping and meal prep time so you can spend more time during this holiday season with friends and family. I have my flatbread. It looks so good. So I'm gonna try it and let y'all know how it is. Mmm, it's so good. I really, really like it. This is my first time making a white sauce and I've always loved white sauce pizzas. So yay, success. I'm so excited to eat this. This is amazing. If you guys want to check out HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code, which is katieheron14 for 14 free meals and three free gifts. I will have all the links and everything in the description box. I'm going to finish my brunch now. I'm so excited. Arguably the best feeling of the morning is completing a workout, taking a shower, and changing into some super comfy clothes. Today I just wore a sweater and these really cute lounge pants. I decided to go ahead and get ready on this day. I don't put makeup on every day, it just depends what my plans are, but I decided to go ahead and do a simple everyday makeup look for me. So that usually consists of some concealer and cream blush, eyeliner, mascara, and some sort of lip color. That's usually all I do just because like I said, my skin is pretty sensitive, so this is just what has worked for me and I will usually listen to some sort of podcast or YouTube video while I'm getting ready. I just find it super relaxing. And that is pretty much all for my getting ready process. And then I will head to my kitchen because I'm a huge tea girl. I really like caffeine free drinks because I get anxiety from coffee which is so devastating because I love coffee, but I can't drink it so I have tea instead. So while the pot was boiling i added the raisins to my cooled off granola mixed it all up and then stored it in a tupperware container so that i could continue using it for the rest of the week and then i made my tea for the day which is this trader joe's winter wake up tea which is so delicious and smells amazing if i could make a cozy morning tea it would be this scent it's just very festive very fun and then i will go to my desk and some mornings I'll have therapy, not every morning, usually one morning per week. And I will just log on to the call and have my morning session. Starting therapy was honestly one of the best decisions of 2021 and I recommend it to everyone. Good morning. All right guys, so now it's officially not really morning anymore. I am getting my day started. And I know a lot of you guys may be wondering, what do you do all day? if you don't have a job currently. So I, if you're new to my channel, I just graduated school and I am moving to London in one month. So this morning routine is at a very temporary place in my life. So I've just spent a lot of time really relaxing and working on a lot of habits that help me grow and 
just bring me a lot of peace, honestly. So I have been loving getting to spend my mornings doing all of these amazing habits because I know at a certain point in my life, I may not have this much time in the mornings. Aside from all of my really fun hobbies like baking and reading, I am doing a lot of YouTube work. So editing videos and doing emails, planning content and all that kind of thing because I have a lot of content ideas, of course, because I'm moving in one month. So I'm just excited to start making all kinds of new videos and it's just like enjoying these last few weeks at home because I know my life is about to change a lot very soon so I have just been honestly really embracing this time so yeah that is pretty much my morning routine currently I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my moving and my packing vlogs because I'm about to do a huge closet decluttering to figure out what I can actually fit in my suitcases when I move so I will be making a video showing that and just celebrating the holidays and everything like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks again to HelloFresh for partnering with me on it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.